Hey everybody, I'm Judy Doherty and it's What's for Dinner Wednesday, so here we go. I hope I help you out with something easy to do, easy on the pocketbook, and saves you from going through that drive through or eating fast food. So there's some times in my house where I just want a chicken, um, a whole chicken, and I don't want to take the time to put it in the oven, which is a, you know an hour and a half, two hours. So today I'm going to show you how to make a whole rotisserie chicken in the pressure cooker in, in 20 to 30 minutes. So let's get started. Um, the other thing that I'm making uh, is I'm going to make a side dish with some potatoes and uh, put those in the micro pro grill. So the first things up is I'm going to take an onion and I've already taken the peel off that just to save us a little bit of time on our what's for dinner Wednesday, right? Um, so I'm gonna take a little bit of onion and I'm gonna slice it and um, then I'm gonna cube it, just easy. You could do this in your Power Chef if you want it, but I don't want it too small, so I'm just putting some onion like that. And then I'm gonna be, take some potatoes and I'm gonna put those in my micro pro grill. So I'm gonna cut these up you know, there are several different kinds of potatoes that you can buy, whether you do the red uh, skin, which are um, real pretty, tasty. I find them to be very creamy. You can do uh, the white potatoes, what do they call those? The name just slipped my mind, but you're probably saying it out loud, but I can hear you. <laughs> uh, the Yukon Gold, so it's whatever you want. Or for here, on what's for dinner Wednesday, it's what I have on hand because I want to avoid that grocery store if I can, right? Um, the more times you go in a grocery store, the more money you spend. Do you find that? So if you can make do with the things that you have, it's going to be so much easier. So I was thinking, well, I could do rice with my chicken. Um, and then I was like, oh, no, I have some potatoes. So that's what we're going to do here. So I'm going to cut up four potatoes. I've already washed them. And I'm leaving the peel on these, so you can obviously remove that if you like, but I'm not going to for mine. So I'm putting these in. Look how pretty that is. That's in our micro pro grill, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil or avocado oil, whichever you prefer. Um, and with the onion, I wanna do some salt and pepper. Always have to salt and pepper, right? That's that's an important part because that gives our food a nice taste. Let's do some coarse black pepper with that. So I'd love to hear like what are some of the things that you've made for the What's for Dinner Wednesday that I've shared with you. If you would send me a, um, a personal message or post below this video, I'd love to hear because it's always fun to um, hear back, oh, I saw this video, I wanted to try it, I did, and it was delicious, or what tweaks you made to it as well. That's always helpful. Now, um, the seasoning blend, because I'm gonna use Italian seasoning on my chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and add some Italian seasoning to my potatoes. You can do um, whatever seasoning you prefer, but uh, today we're going Italian. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Okay, I know I shouldn't sing. <laughs> and I know I can't dance. Abby and I always run to the back when there's dancing, right Abby? I'm sure she's watching me. Um, it's, it's not my favorite thing to do. All right, how easy was that? Let me bring it to show you. Doesn't that look great? You could add a little bit of red or green pepper if you wanted to, um, just for color. I'm gonna take our micro pro grill and I'm actually gonna put the cover of it to touch the potato. So if you turn it, you can have it where it's not touching and it's just creating more of an oven type atmosphere. Um, but I wanna put it on where those two susceptors, those hot pockets, as you will, are both touching the potatoes. Okay, sound good? So that's gonna be in my first microwave. <laughs> And then in my second microwave, now at home, I, I don't have the luxury of having two microwaves. So what I would do is I would do my chicken. And while the chicken uh, was finishing cooking out of the microwave and the indicator was going down, that's when I'd pop in the potatoes. Because we're not all lucky enough to have two microwaves, right? <laughs> like we do here at the studio. So uh, I'm gonna take from our Click It Peelers. We don't have these, these are really phenomenal. 
click it peeler has a vertical horizontal and then it has the large peeler which is great for mango sweet potatoes things that are very large it just shears off the top so um i'm gonna take a couple carrots and um just take the outside layer off with the peeler or pe click it peeler you can either mount up uh, or you can hide it in a drawer of course I hide everything in the drawers I like like my countertops cleaned off right um, so that's it and let me show you just the reason you want to use a peeler look at this let me find the camera Look how thin that is. So you don't waste any of your vegetables. So if you're peeling potatoes or you're peeling whatever it is, you're just literally shearing off the top and you're not gonna waste your fruit or vegetable. And that's important because they're expensive and um, it costs a lot of money to eat healthy and there's no reason that we should not, uh, or that we should be throwing food away. So I'm just peeling that off and um, very, very thin. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on some gloves. <laughs> that way it's easy for the uh, video part of um, us that when I'm touching raw chicken. So, you know, I hear and I read a lot of different articles about germs in the kitchen. When you're cooking with uh, chicken especially, you wanna make sure to not leave the residue of the the juice anywhere that can create some problems within the kitchen, the sink, utensils, stuff like that. So um, I'm gonna put some gloves on and that way, if I can get them on, <laughs> that way it'll make it easy to uh, pull them off and have it. So I bought a chicken, this is about a six pound chicken. I've gone ahead and cleaned it out. Always do that when you bring your chicken home. Pull out anything that's inside. A lot of times you'll have the gizzard, the the livers, things of that sort that you may want to make a, a gravy out of. I've eliminated that and um, you can see it's just a nice clean chicken now. So I'm going to take half of an onion and I'm going to put it in the cavity and then I'm going to take a couple of my carrots that I have peeled so nicely and you could put celery, you could put anything that you want down inside your chicken just to give it nice flavor right just how about thanksgiving when you're making your uh turkey don't you always put onion celery things like that inside of it just to give it a nice good flavor and that's what we're doing here i don't necessarily always eat these vegetables um you can if you want absolutely they're cooked they're clean they're peeled but it's really to flavor my chicken so we're going to put them in both ends of that and put some more. That little cavity is pretty big when you start shoving stuff in it. Um, so anything that you like, if you like garlic in yours, um, anything. All right, so there it is. Let me show you what that looks like. Pretty. We're going to put it right down into our pressure cooker. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to take off these gloves and that's why I use them. Of course at home I wouldn't be doing that. Uh, but let me show you what this looks like. Okay, you can see that. So my chicken is cleaned. It has in the cavity some onion, carrot, celery, whatever it is that you like. I'm now going to use my Italian seasoning. Just sprinkle it right on top to give it nice flavor, and that'll actually coat the top of it and uh, be very pretty when it cooks. I'm not adding any water, okay? There's no water going into this, and I'm gonna put my pressure cooker together. Pretty easy to use, you just line up, there's an arrow on the top and the bottom. Put it on, twist it, that closes it, and then take the, level down, the lever down. Now it's ready to go in the microwave. So I'm gonna put this in the microwave for 30 minutes. And when the microwave goes off, I'm gonna give it a minute or two for the indicator to go down. And then I'll show you what it looks like. Sound good? All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, here's what happened. I um, put the potatoes and onions with a little bit of olive oil and our Italian seasoning in the micro pro grill, I set that for 15 minutes. And then the pressure cooker, oh, it feels so good, it's warm. <laughs> the pressure cooker, I took a whole chicken, cleaned it, 
dried it out, put inside of it a little um, piece of an onion and some carrots. You could add celery, garlic, whatever you like. Dusted some of the Italian seasoning on top. So once I put it out of the microwave, I just set it here until this indicator um, goes down. As long as the indicator is up, it's telling you there's pressure in the chamber, so you leave it closed and it's finishing cooking. So you don't want to open it because that's part of the cooking process. So let's take a look. I don't want to take my hands off. It feels so good. Let's take a look and see how our chicken looks, all right? So I'm gonna lift up this handle. I'm gonna turn it. I'm just turning the top. The arrows now are not lined up and I'm able to pick up the cover and uh, pull it up. Oh, it smells so good. And you should see, there's water up to here. Remember, I added no water, right? So let me show it to you. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna flip out. Let's see if you can see that, right? How about this way? Is that better? Can you see it kind of split it open? I don't know if you can see the juice in it. Um, the juice, which will make a fantastic gravy. Um, so here's what I do. You know, it's just Bill and I in the house uh, as empty nesters, so we don't, uh, eat as much as we used to when we had the family, right? So the first meal, what I'll do is I'll have the chicken, I'll slice it down, we're gonna have potatoes, a little bit of steamed broccoli. That'll be dinner the first night. The second night, what I'll do is I'll take it off the bone, and you can either freeze it for your plan aheads, not your leftovers, your plan aheads, or I will intend to make anything from a quesadilla, quesadilla, a chicken, um, Caesar salad, I might even do a chicken pot pie because now I have the juice, which I can turn into a gravy. And this is gonna be so much better for you than buying any better than bouillon, any type of stock because you've made the stock, right? So I can strain it, get it ready, and tomorrow night do a chicken pot pie, which if you haven't had my chicken pot pie, you gotta have that. Maybe I'll do that um, here in a few weeks for you. So um, that's it. So let me go ahead and pull this out so you can take a look at it. You know, some people will go into Kroger or HEB and buy their rotisserie chickens. I don't recommend it because first of all, do they use the freshest chickens? No. Do they clean them like you do? No. So I'm gonna recommend that you make your own. And how easy was this to do? I literally cleaned it, put some seasoning, and put it in the microwave, and it's done. And <laughs> you know what? I'm afraid it's gonna fall apart. It's that done, but we're gonna, we're gonna go for it anyhow. Let me drain it just for a second, because I do want all that juice. I am gonna use it, and uh, if I wasn't gonna use it right away, I could freeze it and use it in my rice later if I wanted a uh, stock. There we go. Oh my goodness, you guys have to be impressed with this. Yes, yes, and all that juice. All right, let's take a look at our potatoes. Da, 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 da. Okay, oh my goodness, they look terrific too. So I wanna show you it before I stir them. They smell good. Take a look. Where's that camera? See how they're caramelized on the top as well? Isn't that beautiful? So um, tonight, for what's for dinner Wednesday, we're having our, our potatoes it's done so easy. Again, uh, at home, I don't have the two microwaves, so once my chicken was done cooking, I put the potatoes in, and they look and smell delicious. And we're gonna have chicken, and then tomorrow night will be a whole new meal that I've planned ahead. Another night that I can ditch that drive through and save money, save portion sizes, and sodium intake, and all those horrible things for our body, because I pop the chicken in the microwave for 20 minutes. You can do this too, okay? You can do this too. So leave me some love below. Let me know the things that you're making or something you'd love to see me make here at the studio to help you out with the what's for dinner. I'm gonna go ahead and carve up this bird and call Bill to eat dinner. Sound good? <laughs> Bye everybody.